Good morning, everybody. I am up early. It is right now 6.55 a.m. It's early. It's too early. Here to get Bob. He has a doctor's appointment this morning. Oh, someone's up. Doors open. He says, you know, I'm not really an expert on limo etiquette, but I, I think this would make a really great rule number four. Someone's here. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> Sam's in there teaching drums. You guys want to see something funny? Okay, so when I first started working with Jim, I went to the bathroom and I saw this and I thought. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Check this out. Y'all see that? <laughs> it's Jim in a limousine with David Hasselhoff. So, that's pretty funny actually, because I grew up watching David Hasselhoff. Big fan of David Hasselhoff. And that's just funny to me. I find that very, very amusing. <laughs> I don't know I did. I mean yeah, it's been stepped up. <laughs> and the thing is like it's number five for me, so everything's stepped up, including, including everything that. I brought this in. I know it. <laughs> Dude, he's like a way fuller, more full degree. Yeah, he even said that it was half of what it could be. Like everything is stepped down and half down. Look at all those fucking baskets. I know. That's gonna be so sick. <laughs> I love that. I'm tired. I have a few minutes to rest. So, like, I cannot sleep at night because of when I lived in Vegas, um, like, I was, you know, always doing gigs and stuff like that and not getting home until 3, 4, 5 in the morning on average. So, <clears throat> ever since I've been back to Florida from Vegas, I just still haven't broke that. Like, I'm just more comfortable at nighttime. Anyhow, so if I do go to bed early, it's, uh, I wake up like at between 2 and 3 in the morning. So, like last night, I knew I had to be up early this morning to take a friend of mine to the doctor. And so I 
went to bed at about 11, and I did. I woke up about 2.30 this morning, and I've been up since 2.30 this morning, and it is now 3.30, left at 3.30 in the afternoon. So I'm tired, so I'm just chilling for a minute, because I have another drum lesson at 4, and I'm like, I'm just going to rest and relax. Until they get here, because I can do that. I can do that. That was not enough rest. I got like 15 minutes. So, I'm getting ready to go hard for the next seven hours. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eight hours. Eight hours. I'll be home probably around midnight tonight. I got three drum lessons and then I have rehearsal from seven until eleven. I wanna sleep. I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep good tonight though. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Go home and crash. Get up in the morning. It's gonna be crazy. Man teacher told me to my other teacher told me to eat the microphone when I'm singing. So did you eat it? What? Did you eat it? Mm-hmm. Was it good? Mm-hmm. It kind of shocked me. So it had phantom power. No, it shocked me. You, it, you get it? It shocked It shocked me. So it shocked me, and it shocked me. Right. So it shocked me. I'm shocked right now. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> is that an owl on your shirt? Yeah. What does that signify? Wisdom. Why is it on your shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Zing! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So I was watching this like princess or princess and the frog or frog princess and the frog or I don't know. But so this evil guy casts a spell on a princess I think. I don't know. And she turns into a frog. And then he sends, he, the bad guy, sends the girl to a dream kind of. And it was all like she was back in her normal life. And she had something that the evil guy wanted, but she didn't give it up. So, uh, I said when there, when there was, you know, when she entered that dream world, I was just like, girls be tripping. See what I did there? See what I did? Uh, uh, I was also at school today. You were at school so, today? Yeah. Sweet. I know, right? And I just started breaking out dancing. Okay. We were, like after we took a test. Yeah. Everybody told me to sit down, including the teacher, but I kept on dancing. Sounds like something I would do. This is a UFO. Ready for this one? Oh. Is that what I did? Oh. Wow. Just <laughs> stupid now. It looks like a UFO, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> I call it a hi hat the UFO. How do I fix it? I thought I broke it. Get the little, the little thing on top there. Let me see. Left. Yeah, use your imagination. Imagine you're in front of it. That would be that way. Yeah. See, I don't know. I'm not good with it though. Oh, now let go of the foot. Now bring it down just a little bit. With your foot, just no, again, bring it down just a little, no, just a little bit. Ready? Ready? Hold on. Okay, try that. Now tighten it. Now let's open it. Oh, look at there! That's much better than whatever I just did, because I like, I did something down here, and I thought that's what it was, but I guess I must have hit the thing. And I missed it because I thought I broke it. <laughs> what do you guys think? 
Indiana do. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to ramble, ready to roll, ready to strip my stuff.